Hello. Uh, class 9 students. Today, uh, in continuation of fundamental unit of life, we are going to start the uh, next topic that should be discussed. First, uh, we have talked uh, diffusion in uh, video number 5. Today, we will make it uh, clear between diffusion and uh, osmosis. Diffusion, we know movement of substances or molecule from a higher concentration to its lower concentration. It is called diffusion. Suppose when we take a, an incense a stick and it is burned uh, in a corner of room, then we can smell from the another corner. It is due to diffusion. It is due to diffusion. Means where the incense a stick is burning, there is a high concentration and room inside room volume, there is a low concentration. The movement of uh, molecule takes place from incense testic means high concentration to low concentration. It is a diffusion. But uh, whenever we talk about uh, this osmosis, it is a special type of diffusion. What happens in this? Passage of water molecule from a region of high water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane or living membrane to a region of low water concentration. It is called osmosis. Suppose, when we take a beaker, in this beaker we take water, we take a thistle funnel, And uh, this end of thistle, thistle funnel is bind by living membrane. We can take uh, living membrane uh, from mutton house or mutton shop and it is bind in the thistle funnel. And it is fixed by the help of a stand. After, uh, we leave it for some time we will observe rising of water in this stain. So this rising of water above the level of water in the beaker, it is a, due to osmosis. Before that, we take uh, sugar solution before binding this uh, living membrane in the sulfonate. The here the water concentration is less and outside the thistle funnel in the beaker water concentration is more. Therefore movement of water from this beaker will take place in the thistle funnel and there will be rising of water in the stain. It is what it is due to osmosis. Same thing happened, movement of water molecule from the beaker through the living membrane in the thistle funnel where there is a sugar solution. Sugar solution. The su in sugar solution water potential is low and outside beaker we have taken water, there water potential is more. Therefore, movement of water takes place from high water potential to low water potential through the living membrane. It is an osmosis. I think uh, you don't have any difficulty whenever you will compare between diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion is simply movement of substance or molecule from a higher water potential, uh, from a higher concentration to lower concentration. But whenever we talk about osmosis, movement of water molecule from a higher water potential to lower water potential through the living membrane. It is called osmosis. 
Actually, by the process of osmosis, water enters through the cell and uh, um, roots absorb water from the soil by the process of osmosis. Next, uh, we have to discuss types of osmotic solution. Types of osmotic solution. Osmotic solution are those solution which can cause osmosis if separated from solvent by semi-permeable membrane. Here uh, also we have separated this uh, water, water inside beaker and solution inside the thistle funnel by this living membrane. From a solvent by semi-permeable membrane or living membrane. There are of three types. Hypotonic solution, isotonic solution and hypertonic solution. When we observe what happens if we put an animal or plant cell into the solution. For example, when a living cell from plant or animal is taken in hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution, suppose this one is the beaker, it is a cell taken from plant or living cell, plant or animal and uh, it is a water, tap water. When you will keep this living cell in this beaker, movement of water molecule will take place outside into the cell. And cows will be, there will be swelling in the cell. The so when a living cell will be put in hypotonic solution, swelling of cell takes place due to endosmosis. Means here osmosis takes place, movement of water molecule takes place outside to inside cell. So this will happen. When a living cell will be put into the hypotonic solution, movement of uh, maximum movement of water molecule take place from outside to inside the cell and it will cause swelling of cell. Though movement of water molecule will also take place from inside to, uh, cell to outside, but net gain will be more inside the cell. Therefore, it will cause swelling. Second is isotonic solution. Again, we take a beaker and in this beaker, we take a solution that's concentration is same as the concentration of living inside living cell. Here, uh, there will be no net gain movement of water molecule either inside or outside and uh, there will be no effect in the cell. Such uh, solution will be called isotonic solution. Here hypertonic solution, here concentration is made greater from the concentration of the uh, material inside the cell. Outer concentration is more, inner concentration is less. What will happen? Movement of water molecule from cell to outside. This is example of exosmosis. It is an example of exosmosis and uh, shrinkage of cell will take place. Shrinkage of cell will take place. So here, uh, when questions will be asked, what will happen if a living cell will be put in hypotonic solution? Endosmosis takes place, swelling of cell will take place. What will happen 
if uh, living cell will be put in isotonic solution here concentration inside and outside is equal therefore no net movement of water molecule inside or outside here hypertonic solution movement of uh, water molecule will take place from cell to outside this uh, inside um, outside the, uh, the cell into the beaker therefore here shrinkage of cell will take place and uh, today my uh, student uh, i would like to tell you a story uh, and uh, that story is uh, related to scientific uh, inspiration the here uh, one story is uh, determined pursuit determined pursuit of a chosen objective hard work patience and perseverance are essential prerequisites of success in scientific study or scientific work cooperation help and encouragement by others can make a world of difference in the final outcome just i would like to put example the story of michael faraday so how help and encouragement made him a scientist of repute son of a poor blacksmith he was apprentice to a london book binder at the age of 13 gifted with an uh, in, uh, inquisitive uh, mind he started reading some of the books on science which came to him for binding what particularly charmed him was an article on electricity in an encyclopedia to be bonded one day one of the patron of his shop who was a member of the royal institute took the boy to hear some lectures by sir Hum humphry davy director of the institution faraday prepared notes of these lectures and sent them to davy along with an application for a job sir humphry davy recognized the potential talent in the boy and offered him the post of a laboratory assistant this faraday eagerly accepted davy encouraged the youth look uh, took him on a trip to the continent and introduced him to many distinguished scientists davy was once asked to name his greatest scientific discovery and he promptly replied michael faraday thanks thanks a lot